What's up guys, Jason here. I'm so excited to be kind of on a um, living the journey with you guys as we're launching a new song uh, every week off our new record. This week um, is a song I'm really excited about. I, I think we'd all agree that it's one thing to plan for a journey. Um, it's another thing entirely to walk through uh, the journey, um, especially when things are not going the way you want them to with the truest sense of assurance um, and to, to believe that we're actually gonna get to our destination. But you know, I've, I've found this quote and I just wanted to share it with you guys. Um, John Newton writes this about the Christian life. He says, assurance grows by a repeated conflict, by our repeated experimental proof of the Lord's power and goodness to save. When we have been brought very low and helped, when we've been sorely wounded and healed, cast down and raised again, have given up all hope and then suddenly been snatched from danger and placed in safety. And when these things have been repeated to us and in us a thousand times over, we begin to learn to simply trust the word and the power of God beyond and against appearances. And this trust, when habitual and strong, bears the name of assurance, for even assurance has degrees. Um, I don't know where today finds you. Um, today for me, it finds me in a pretty good place. I'm pretty excited about um, my day and and I'm thankful for the moments that I have today to be able to spend with my family, my wife, and my kids. But, you know, it's funny. Um, life has this way of kind of constantly slapping you in the face. And, you know, the other day I was on the phone with somebody that I love dearly, and we were talking about some physical struggles that they were dealing with. And, and the person on the other end of the phone um, said, you know, we keep waiting on the Lord to fix this issue. And, and we feel like God just keeps saying, no, I, I want you there. And that's a hard thing to hear. Um, but it's so interesting because, you know, in our random musings and conversation about the situation, um, she said, you know, it's interesting, though, these people are closer to the Lord than they've ever been before as they're studying the word of God and, and praying in a way that they haven't prayed before. And I said, well, maybe that's the beautiful thing. Maybe that's, you know, maybe that's really what this whole thing is about, which reminds me of, of the idea that God is not about our immediate gratification. That's not what he's focused on. That's not his... Um, mission is mission is our sanctification to make us uh, his righteousness right to make us holy again and, and it's funny because you know I, some of you guys may know but I'm I'm a CrossFitter I work out a lot and try to try to stay in shape as I get a little older but it's funny when you go to CrossFit there's these guys that come in maybe for the very first time and they can be just massive strong dudes and you, you walk in and you know, like the instructor will tell them, all right, you get the bar, the bar only today. And you see everybody, including myself, same thing happened to me. They want to put weight on the bar and they want to go strong and go heavy. And and the person that's that's running the class is just in constantly saying, well, no, 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 wait, wait. I need you on the bar. I need you to learn the technique behind this um, so that, number one, you don't get hurt. And number two, the end result is going to be a better, stronger version of you. And it's so interesting because... Um, you know, we've, I've watched people come into the class and struggle with that and just like for like a month or two at a time, like all they've got is the bar and they're just dying. It's like, oh gosh, I want to do more. I feel like I can do more. And then finally they get the technique, they get the lesson, the lesson becomes clear and all of a sudden they put weight on that bar and they just start smashing and they just fly by everybody else. And you know, I don't know where you are today or what your struggle looks like, but I, I, I would, I would encourage you to recognize that you know, the, the time that we have on this earth is not all that we need to be focused on. You see, God's often, he's looking at the big picture in the same way an instructor in a class at my CrossFit box would be looking at the big picture, keeping you healthy, keeping you strong, making, under, helping you understand the techniques to be able to live and continue to do this uh, in a healthy way. I feel like, um, as uh, Francis Chan says, we spend 99% of our time focused on less than 1% of our existence meaning the time that we have here on earth as uh, in comparison with the length of eternity. And he says, that's just completely backwards. Shouldn't we be putting 99 to 100% of our effort focusing on the 99 to 100% of our existence that is coming after uh, the end of, of our time on earth? Um, today, whatever you're going through, whatever your struggle may be, I just hope that in some small way, um, you would take time to remember what God has done and, uh, and to let that be... Um, the power that you have to, to have confidence and to have assurance. You know, when I get lost and when I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing, 
Um, I always remember God's faithfulness in the past, and I start trying to count up all the things that I can remember when God did crazy things. Like, for instance, uh, one time when my wife and I were just randomly given $300, and we didn't even understand why we were given that money. And, and uh, two months later, we were in a doctor's office finding out that we were pregnant with our, our first child, and the doctor's office visit was exactly $300, and we didn't have any savings if it hadn't been for that $300. When I get in the middle of financial struggle, I remember that and I have assurance that God is working all things together for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purposes. This is true of you in the middle of your struggle as well. Uh, I hope this song blesses your heart and I hope that you will remember that, um, that in the moments where things aren't going the way we want, it, want them to go, that's, that's when the instructor comes close. It's interesting to watch that even in the gym. Uh, when a person is struggling with a movement, the instructor forgets and really kind of moves closer to that one person and works with them. They're still aware of everyone else around them, but then that person becomes the focus of their attention. And um, I think that that's a lot of times um, the way that God works. You know, when we're in these struggles and we're in these moments of doubt, I think that we are more aware of his presence being near to us. Um, so don't um, pray for the struggle to be over uh, today. Pray that the Lord would be near to you. And, uh, and also, remember, it's not about your gratification. It's about your sanctification. I hope that uh, you guys will continue the journey with us um, as a new song is released again next week. But I also hope that you enjoy the new song this week called Assurance. Blessings, guys. I'll see you next time. I have this assurance. The mountains are moving.